there's also other problems that are associated with ratio extracts, and I want to talk about those here. The raw material that's used for making a ratio extract doesn't have to be controlled or monitored in any special way. Because there's very minimal testing done on these products, there's not really any say over what type and quality of raw material goes into the input. Essentially, you can use moldy oranges to make moldy orange orange juice, but you're still getting orange juice out at the end of the day. There's no quantifiable way from a testing lab like Omnia Labs or even from a consumer to verify what ratio is used. So if you're buying a product that says 50 to one extract and you think therefore it must be quite potent because the number 50 is very large, there's no way to know if that's actually true. Is it a 50 to one? Is it a 40 to one? Is it a 60 to one? Is it a two to one? There's no way to know. Unless you are the manufacturer, unless you own the company or you audit the manufacturer in the company, you have no idea what it actually is.